What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Trucker T coming back at you with another video. And uh yeah man, hold on, let me flip these down. <laughs> um if anybody know who wore some glasses like these <laughs> with the Dwayne Wayne's <laughs> But you know you gotta you gotta find stuff like this if you wear glasses, so um But yeah man, today's video is actually gonna be about a video that I actually seen that um Chase and Andrew Jackson, he uh, posted. So if you want to see the video about what I'm talking about, uh, go check out his channel. So, um, but the video that I'm talking about today is that the guy on the video, he is pretty much coming from a corporate guy's, you know, point of view and stuff like that, and pretty much you know the rich white guy that went to college and now that he you know went to college and learned how to screw people over uh pretty much he's just saying you know that a lot of the trucking youtubers and the people who go out there and lease and stuff like that is not a good idea because according to him he only know he only know five people that are successful at leasing a truck and pretty much um most of the people that i watch are successful with their lease and to me i am successful with my lease because i don't go into the negative i am stacking money and pretty much that's what leasing and i'm learning the business side of like how to maintain your truck um what to do and what not to do and like all kinds of stuff like pretty much it's stuff that you won't you won't know being a company driver and if you just listen to somebody like that um you will pretty much never succeed you will probably be one of those truck drivers that has been driving about 34 years and don't have nothing to show for it with me I, i'm I, I'm the type of person that likes to learn. I, I've always been like that. Like, I've I've done like a lot of things. Like, what is it? Um, uh, how do they say it? Um, I forgot. They said like, good at all things, but never a master at one or something like that. But, um, but like I know a lot of shit. Like, I went to school for electronic engineering. I actually have been an electrical apprentice. I never, uh, I didn't complete it, but like it's a lot of stuff that I actually have done, but I ended up in trucking because, you know, this is actually something that I like doing and stuff like that. Cause my granddad, he was a truck driver before he passed. So, um, but you gotta go out and learn stuff for yourself. Because if you depend on people like him, cause pretty much he's, pretty much promoting you to be a company driver and which he will screw you over more being a company driver because you're only making what 20 something 30 something 40 something cents a mile and like right right now while i'm leased with prime like i think they say i'm averaging what about dollar fifty i that's an average now because i rarely take loads that's like around a dollar because um like mostly i do it you know around dollar fifty fifty and up but because like this load right now is like a dollar eighty something a mile like when you add it all up but that's what i'm saying it's like when you if you just because i read the comments from the guy's video and if you go by the comments in the guy's video you're hearing people like yeah you're right such and such, I'm gonna stay a company driving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stack this money. I'm like, huh? You're not stacking money like you want to if you're a company driver. Because when I was a company driver, I mean, I was making decent money, but it wasn't nothing to wear. Like, I mean, it was, it was more than what I was making in the warehouse. But now that I'm leasing, I'm making a hell of a lot more money than that. Like, it, it's, it's just crazy because like i know i know everybody's you know can't be 
a lease driver because like you also got to know your numbers you got to know when you can take off and when you can't and this and that like a lot of people don't understand that because like it was a guy who was installing my cable and he said yeah his brother um worked for prime and he did the lease and he stayed out he stayed out for two weeks and then he came back and he said it took him like a month to get back out the hole and i'm like yeah if you do something like that like just because you can do it doesn't mean you're supposed to like because with me i average i usually stay out about four to five weeks i go home spend about four days at home but the thing is i go home like on a friday because prime's time goes in on tuesdays so after i turn my stuff in tuesday i was like all right give me uh, give me a load you, i mean i don't tell him that but he usually like give me about two loads before i even go home so usually those two loads that i do before i go home like a load bef like after tuesday that you know that drops after tuesday and then a load from that going to georgia and pretty much that's gonna cover all of my expenses like i've never can't well, I, the only time I came home, well, I came off a of home time, I was negative when I first started off. And, you know, I just wanted to go home because, you know, I had been out already for a while because I had left straight from Swift, got on the bus, went straight to Prime. And pretty much after that, I, I took some home time. But that's it. Like, all it is, you just gotta, you just gotta think. You gotta, like, know your numbers. You gotta know how much gross that you need to make a decent paycheck because i know that if i gross four thousand dollars i know i'm gonna have a good check but i know if i'm at over four thousand dollars oh it's gonna be a real good check but i know that if i gross about three thousand my check's gonna be shitty i mean but it's still not in the negative so i know my realm like i know where i need to be by tuesday like if, if they try to give me something that's that's shitty at the end of the week, I tell them I like I need something that's gonna pay about this much. And thank God that my uh, my DM he he knows he pretty much know what I want to do. And I told him I said I'm a runner, so you give me the loads, I'm gonna run it. So and now you know I'm about to be a trainer, so hopefully my growth skyrockets. That's gonna make you know the money that i bring in skyrockets and all i do like i pay myself what about 700 dollars a week and that's you know what i use for like i and i take seven cents out a mile for my e-fund so whenever i need like oil change something i tell them take it out um i need such such out of my e-fund so i can get my um my maintenance done so i mean all it is you just gotta think ahead like i'm stacking money like like crazy and i only pay myself like seven hundred dollars so anything over seven hundred dollars goes into the business account so but i don't know man i'm just trying to put it out there that you can be successful as a lease driver and all it is you just gotta know what to do that's all like but it's your boy Trucker T and I'm out. Peace and oh, I forgot to I forgot to tell you if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. It don't really matter. And hit that subscribe button because you know it's free, man. It's free. Just hit it. Damn. <laughs> Alright, it's your boy Trucker T and I'm out. Peace.